Hey you guys, it's Marissa. It's been, um, gosh, like a week, I think. And, um, I didn't get this haul made. I went to the expo last weekend and I just been kind of under the weather and not, you know, just kind of staying off social media, trying to get the phone out my hand because sometimes I think it's permanently attached to my hand. And I needed a, uh, needed to, uh, I needed to cut it out. I forgot how that goes. Anyway, so I, I didn't, um, I didn't make the whole video and then in between that I got my creative retreat kit which I absolutely love I can't wait to show you it's so different than the um, one last month and then just some random things at Joann's and a weird find at Walmart so I didn't get much done at the expo I was not very productive I was kind of in a funk create creatively create is that right creatively in a funk and just kind of in just a funk all around. Um, so that did not make for very good company. You could ask my partner in crime, Paula. I'm sure that I was not very fun. But I did shop. I shoppity shop, shop, shopped. And I got three cards done. <laughs> Fail. So let's show you what we got. First, before the expo, let me just show you like the other random things that I've been wanting to show you. Um, this is a Walmart. What? Did I need it? No. What? Ow. Didn't need that. It was $7. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Dear Lizzie, I think it's Lucky Charm which is one of my favorite collections, um, by Dear, excuse me, by Dear Lizzie. So anyways, this was there, and I never got this one. All of the cards have foil on them, and then there's like little, you know, the die cuts and stuff. So you only get 130 pieces in here, but like I said, it was seven bucks, and I read somewhere that Walmart's going to get Cricut stuff and Becky Higgins stuff. So they also had, um, I think the chalkboard one like the black and white ones. So I just got this on a whim. So I'm glad though, because I have a lot of these embellishments in the paper pad. Okay. Um, excuse me. Oh my gosh. So I'm sure there's been a lot of haul videos on the Heidi Swap December or Christmas stuff, but to my surprise, I have not gone crazy buying it. Few reasons. One, because I'm just not in like that Christmas spirit right now. I'm so not ready for Christmas. And the December daily, this is the 17th time I've said it, is still not done from last year. So I just can't look at Jack squat until I finish that other one. But to be honest, her line kind of looks like the line from last year and maybe the one before that. But there is a Project Life kit that she put out that's blue, and I really, really like that. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do for my December daily. I'm hoping to collab with not one person, but hopefully a few people, and we'll do like a December daily series. So with that being said, I did get one thing from her line, and this will help me. So all I got, it's called the countdown kit, but I just got the gold numbers because... I try to be creative with my numbers and every year I just don't like them. So this way they're already done for me. I probably could have cut these, but I don't care. So I just got gold. They have also have them in silver. And then there's some white, like pearly looking die cuts, which they're cute, but I don't know if I'll use them. So that I got at Joann's. And then because I bought some more distress inks, which I'm missing one. Now I'm looking at it right there. There you are. <laughs> that wasn't very good. Hey, you! Yeah? Tumble glass. Who, me? Yeah, get over here, girl. Anyways, I got tumble glass. Did I? No, I didn't. I got another one over there, but I was going to tell you that that looks just like Mermaid Lagoon, so don't buy that one. I don't know which one that is, but I insist on pointing with my pinky. That is not painted, but this one is. Okay, hold on. My nose is running. I can't do this anymore. I'm going to pick it. Okay. So, first, I had to get the 
mini distress ink storage tin because now I have more than four and I need some more to put it. So I got this little tin and this is what you put your little inks in. And then um, I also got some more of these. This is the second pack that I've bought. These are just the blending foam. But I use the blending foam for my distress paints. So every single distress paint, not distress paint, every single um, um, Di Diane Reevely, did I say it right? I, I totally blanked on her name. Um, my mixed media paints, what are those? The dilutions paints, Diane Reevely. Is that right? I think it is. Anyways, I make my own. I make my own, instead of getting the little mini distress, you only get two in a pack. I use these five piece candlestick things from Hobby Lobby. They're $3.99 and I could have swore you got more than five in an old pack. Yeah, you actually did get more than five, but now they only come in a five pack. I hot glued these, so they're, they're all in here. These are what, they're not pretty, but this is what I use for my um, dilutions paints. But I was like, hello, I need them for my distress inks. So instead of buying the little thing, the little blending tools, I got these again, got some more of these. I totally did not buy enough. That's, that's not smart. Oh no, that's right, I didn't wanna buy enough. Okay, sorry. And then I got some Velcro. So I'm gonna make my own. Um, and I'm gonna just cut it, I, I'm gonna just take them off like everybody does with the Velcro instead of having a whole bunch of these. So if you are cheap like me and you want a whole bunch of these, candlesticks or anything that you can hold with, this was the best at finding something that fit, let's find one. I don't know, you can't really tell, but it it's pretty good, it's a pretty good fit. So that's what I got, was I just got this, it was like a dollar, I had it cut from the roll, and then I'm going to make my own. So that is like the um, Yoann's kind of stuff, so scrapbook expo. Okay, Paula took a mixed media class and um, the day before I came, and the class that she took, she got two stencils in it, and one, and there, there was a two pack of Heidi Swap stencils and there they were plus signs and I was like hello I need those um and we couldn't find it well I couldn't find it for the life of me online where to buy it so I went and tried to find one and I found one at um, the expo by crafters workshop and it was five bucks but I don't care now it's really cute I already used it um at the expo to, or just to try it out and I do like it, though Heidi Swap one, it's kind of like the plus signs have more area. They're like more fatter, but this is cute. So I got this one and then this sometimes after the expo, when the vendors are closing down like their booths, they will come out to the crop area for and like sell just like s random things for really, really cheap. And I got this stencil for a dollar and this is another crafters workshop and it's called mini wildflowers, but I thought it'd be pretty on an art journal page. So those were the stencils. And then, um, I grabbed, there was a vendor that the whole entire booth was 30% off. And I, so I, I went there twice. Um, and that's where I got most of my stuff. I wasn't that impressed with the stuff. It's kind of, the same stuff over and over um, and there are a few new things but not that much so this was only a dollar and it's it's old it's from jelly bean soup and they're just they're oh those are oh those are embroidery hoops anyways they're just white and I thought they would be fun to um, color up and put on some layout so I got those and then this is old as well. It's from the Jubilee line from My Mind's Eye. And I have the 12 by 12 chipboard, but I really like the black and white pieces in my chipboard. So I, I don't have the paper pad. I, I wish I could find this, but I don't know if, who would have it. Um, so it's just one of those mixed bags and you get a whole bunch in here. So I just got that one. And then I just got these. This was another thing when the vendor came out. I, this was a total impulse. I don't know. It was a dollar. I don't even like that color, but I got it. <laughs> I 
These I like. I love the jelly bean soup. I don't have the um, this color. These are pink, as you can see. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just crack myself up. I don't know where this came from. Um, I can't remember what vendor this was from, but I know. I know, I know. I have so many of these. Um, but what I really liked about it was that it had the gold and you could totally like spray this velvet. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I just thought I could use it. Man, I could sell anything. Or not sell anything. I could haul anything. You know what would be fun? I'm going to make like some viral video and we have to like haul random things. But we have to talk about it like it's a scrapbook thing. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know where that came from. Anyways, no, I didn't get a hanger. But I did get the Mama Elephant. Um, I always wanted this. I always wanted this heart die. So it's really cute. And it's six inches across, so it fits right on the bottom of a Project Life card. And there I go again with my pinky. And then you can cut the little hearts apart. So, yeah, this is only six bucks. Six bucks. So I did get three Distress Inks. I don't know what's over there. There's a blue one, but it looks just like Mermaid Lagoon, and I was going to tell you not to get it, but I can't get up when I'm looking at it because it wouldn't come over here. So I got Worn Lipstick and Tumble Glass. They were selling them for $3 and then 30% off. Um, and then I did get Blueprint Sketch. I really love this blue, but they did not have a little mini ink. and I didn't really want a big one. So I just got the Distress Marker, and this is one of the newer blues and then Paula and I were like hey I wonder how those um, little finger ink daubers work and they're 70 cents so let's use them they work good and I was going to go crazy and get like a 50 pack of these but this only covers a little teeny area so I needed to go this route I can't be unless I have like a whole bunch and I'm just like like doing things no it's not gonna work but I ain't gonna work okay almost done uh I don't have any of these ink pads, so I got a MFT ink, uh, black ink pad. I thought I would try that one. And then I got a few stamps. This one is from Technique Tuesday, and it's called Planner Important. And it's just, it's cute. It's little. I like little stamps for my planners. Um, well, planner. I don't have two planners. Um, vacation, errands, appointment, work, church, school, family time, high priority. So just a whole bunch of fun um a bunch of fun little sayings that you can put in your planner. And then this one is called Random Thoughts, and I like this one. I don't buy stamps with, um, like, images and icons. Or, no, icons I do, but not, like, images, because I don't really color or anything like that. Unless I'm doing it for my Fobonichi, um, which I'm kind of mad, because I was like, I could have totally bought some really cute stamps for that thing. But I didn't. These are the ones that I usually use. So there is a hashtag, which is like my favorite thing in the world. But nailed it. Epic fail. Oops. Seriously. Just kidding. Things like that. Not again. Never going to happen. Make it happen. So I liked it. There's just a whole bunch of little things. And then I just realized that you get all of these too. I'm loving my pinky today. I just am. It's very cute. So... I got that and then close to my heart the only coupon I used was the close to my heart you could go for like it was like in a two-hour window and it's 50% off of anything and I had a whole bunch of stamps in my hand and a, all those whole bunch of stamps look like every single one I already have so I got something that I don't normally have it's called circus alphabet and it's cute because I thought that I could color in those letters aren't those cute aren't they? Aren't those cute? I don't really care for the whimsical lowercase. I might paired with it, but for now, I'm going to be painting these. I think that's so cute. So yeah, that, I got that. It was only like seven bucks, eight bucks, nine. It was nine. No, it was eight. No, $18. Nine plus nine is 18. Okay. And then, last but not least, was, oh, and we are in California, but that was not a tornado. No, that wasn't a tornado, Marissa. I meant a, um, what is it when you move? Earthquake. Okay. 
So the paper was 30% off as well. So I got, I'll show you what I got. I got this star from Craft Market. I really think that was like the newest thing. No, the Wonder Collection was. And then this one, I thought it would be cute to cut those out. This is from, oh, summertime from October afternoon. These are cute cut aparts. I know that it seems like it wouldn't be summertime here right now, but it is still hecka hot. And then, oh, hmm, I wonder why I got this. Love me some plus signs. Got that one. And then what I'm so, oh gosh, hold on. This one. Now, it's the same piece of paper, but I just, I really liked both patterns. And I thought that this with this would make a cute layout. So I got these two. And then I have seen this at my local scrapbook store. It's by Webster's Pages and it's called These Are the Days. And every month, I'm sh these are not anything new. I think they're from this year or last year. Um, but every single month there are just cut aparts. And if you look, if you do Project Life, this is the basic, like I think it's design A. So you could cut these apart and these could go into your page protector and there's your cards for the month. So I got February. I didn't get all of them. I kind of wish I would now. I would have. Here's December. Um, I don't know. It would just like make for a really quick project life and July but you know how you like wish that you would have got things and it's too late and then you're like man why did you not get it that's how I felt that was August and here is November and then the back side is just the like coordinating or the the color that goes with it um okay that is my expo stuff. I didn't do a lot of damage, but I got a lot of stuff that I liked. Um, you got to, you always, when you do a crop, you get to pick um, like a kit. Oh, or a prize package or something like that. Or not a prize package. Um, you get to pick a kit. And I swear that I've picked Teresa Collins almost every single year. And I don't really care for her um, lines, but it was all I could get. So, oh, you know, I don't even think this is Teresa Collins. This is We Are Memory, yeah, it is. We Are Memory Keepers. I got the archived one. I couldn't really tell the colors. It's, it's older, but um, so you got all the papers and the sticker sheets and everything in it. And then I didn't know this. And then you also get the um, journaling cards. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I might get uh, do this or give this away or like a giveaway. Um, so yeah, that, that was what I got. And you get, you know, your little bag. This is a new bag this year. So you get your bag and I think we got like a Spectrum Noir watercolor pencil and my favorite glue, whoop, glue, glue sticks, which are perfect for mixed media. All right. Moving on. Hold on. I know this is tacky, but I have to have a drink. Ah. I put a little too much in there. I put a little too much. <laughs> Sorry, it's the Italian in me. That wasn't even Italian. Um, my fine line applicators came like my fine line applicators um these things rock the other one is filled with my seven dollar scotch glue get yourself some eight dollars on amazon and then i'm so happy that my neo color twos came in this little teeny tin that you could just open up if you lived in the forest and your houses were made of big spongy mushrooms and you wanted to color, you could open your little, what is this? Really? It's so little and then you go ride on your unicorn and you go see your hobbit friends. Yeah, so this came. Okay, let me hurry up here. Because I hear my kids want dinner. So the Creative Retreat Kit was awesome this month. And the reason I think it's awesome is because it came with this full booklet of Project Life Everyday Chipboard 
stickers and I think that is pretty darn cool and they um oh they did the color palette off or you know like use this base their the colors off of this I'm assuming um sorry just had to show you the whole thing so I thought it was only one of these sheets but it's the whole booklet and I think that's really good see if you can remember let's think about what my other kit look oh looked like because it didn't look like this I can't remember it was like remember you remember it was like purple okay so you got this and then you get I have a whole bunch of these but it's okay I'll probably put these in my giveaway too um two big American Crafts gold cameras you got some um American Crafts black stickers this cute which will be perfect for either die cutting out of or layering little envelope and then their die cuts which there's just tags labels all kinds of circle die cuts all kinds of um, little things in here and it's the same colors as as in the project life chipboard sorry i probably could have taken them out just hello true story they're really cute some aztec stuff in there you also get a spool of washi and this has plus signs in it it is to die for it's really really cute isn't it though so cute and then here is the stamp set that I absolutely love 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 so I'm really pleased with this creative retreat kit this month I have one more month to go um, in my commitment and I mean I like it I like this one I did use a lot of the last one in my planner so you know it's not like sitting over there with everything else I own so that is it my friends did you miss me because I missed me um I'm out of my funk I'm not functified anymore that's it yes that's it okay thanks so much for watching I will be back soon with I have no idea with what with whatever I feel like how's that that was so stupid I swear like at the end I totally ruin my videos okay